Good morning to you all. Good morning! <laughs> right, continuing yesterday, um, I wasn't particularly happy with the vote. I can't remember what the percentage was, but something like 65-70% of people voted for Mazzy. Thanks, guys! So Mazzy won yesterday's photo competition. I think, you know, I don't think people are voting fairly. They're just voting for you because they want you to That's beat unfair. me. That's unfair! They're not just voting for me because I'm Mazzy. They're voting because my photos were better. I disagree. I disagree, I'll be honest. But never mind, you know, I'm not a bad loser. But we're going out again today. We're going down towards the beach. Yeah. See if we can get some different shots and have another little competition. He wants a rematch, guys. Well, I didn't actually. It was your idea. Yeah, well, I think because it's because you're blaming it because everyone voted unfairly, and that's not fair. I won fair and square. I did, didn't I? So here we are at the beach. Now, what we've noticed about this when we've been driving past is when the sea is out, it looks pretty ugly because of all the seaweed. When the sea's in, it looks beautiful when this bit's covered up. But it's, you know, it's still lovely. And we've just noticed these down here, yeah. haven't we? Yeah. Are these cockles or mussels or what are they? They're not mussels. They're not mussels. No. They might be cockles. Cockles, winkles, probably they're cockles. They're not winkles. Um, cockles, I imagine, but they look like they've been there sometime. Yeah, they're in these little bags. Never seen anything like that before. Right, so yeah, we're just gonna, I don't know, I don't know how we're gonna do this, Mazzy. I don't know, but I'm scared of walking on here, because this might be dangerous, mightn't it? Might be do dangerous. It? Yeah, it might be. <laughs> what are you trying to film, honey? It's a swan or a goose, I can't tell which it is. Oh, okay. I can't get it. Strange place for a swan to be, isn't it? Um. Don't talk, just concentrate. <laughs> yeah, so this is the beach, guys. Not sure really what it's called, to be quite honest. But we're lacking of enthusiasm. Enthusiasm. What's the word? Enthusiasm. <laughs> we're trying to find things and we're not inspired at all. We're not inspired. I'll be honest with you, the weather's putting me off. It's too cold, you know, uh, it's just too cold. Oh, don't be a word. All them clouds are coming over. It's very windy today. I'm not feeling it. Well, let's take one or two each. Well, I've got, I have got a picture of the swan stroke oh, goosey thing, yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm happy with that. Yeah, we'll take one or two and then we can head back and do some more back there, yeah? Yeah, we'll do more back there. Actually, whatever it was in them bags, I think it's... Is it cockles? I think they're cockles, aren't they? Um, there's tons of them here. Absolutely tons all over the place. Oh, yeah! So we're on the way back. We're just finding little things to clip, aren't we, honey? Take shots off. We're struggling. It's got a few fuchsias there. Oops, okay. Tripped oh, over. <laughs> I don't know, it's like you your photography oh, God. <laughs> your photography head doesn't work unless it's nicer weather. No, it you're is too for me. much about the weather. No, for me it's just too breezy, too cold for me to concentrate on getting that perfect shot, which I obviously would. Maz is going for the hydrangea <laughs> look. Oh, is that what they are? Yeah. I don't know how to, in, to capture it. They're not out in full colour yet. That would look beautiful very soon. I've took a shot anyway. Lovely colour though, aren't they? Well, that didn't go to plan, did it, Mazzy? I think it went okay. That ain't what he said a second ago. It went all right, is what I said, yeah. <laughs> I, I certainly wasn't happy with it. What? Why? The, well, the weather just spoiled it. We couldn't concentrate on photography. All I was worried about is, is it going to rain? Because we're like... 
couple of hundred metres away from I tell you, he's driving me bonkers about this weather. That's all he does is revolve the day around the weather. Well, no, it's going to be windy in an hour. It's going to rain in five minutes. Everything. So we can't do anything because of that. We I'm going to take the weather app off your phone. You're <laughs> you driving me bonkers. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, so we certainly haven't got a vlog today, Mazzy, so... Yeah? We can continue the photography. Yeah, I want to, I want to. But... Yeah. Not what you're expecting. Oh, okay. Got to take pictures... Yeah. ...of anything inside or on the outside of the motorhome. Okay. So we're getting away from nature and we're doing the actual motorhome. Right, okay. Whether it be close-up macro shots or whatever you like. So how about if it's a close-up macro shot, let's just say, of this? How are the guys going to know that, you, you know? Well, it doesn't matter if they know what it no. is. No, so it's just got to be something on the van, yeah? Yeah, something on or in the van. Okay. That's going to be hard, isn't it? Okay, bring it on. Bring it on. <laughs> So I've taken a picture of the five stars <laughs> on the outside of the van. You have, yeah. So you've decided it isn't a very good picture, you don't no, think? No, no, what I said to you is, the concept is nice, but I said you haven't quite captured it quite right. So I, said, I was trying to advise you to just go and redo it, but you said, no, you're happy with it, and you've challenged me now to go and do a better one. Yeah, so, you yeah. go for it. You go for it, love. Yeah, I'm going to go and try. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> See if you can copy my picture any better than I did it. What a copycat. So how did you get on? Okay, it's a little bit more difficult than I thought, but yeah, I got one. Okay, <laughs> yeah. so we'll see which is the best. Yep, okay. So... It's, it's a bit unfair, really, because you've already seen mine, so you know yours is no, going to be better. No, I can't remember what yours looked like. Alright, oh, okay, yeah. okay. Uh, whilst we're on, I'd just like to give thanks to the Matsons. Oh, yeah! Rosemary Bernard and Maddie Cooper for becoming patrons. And to Jan in Germany for sending us the drone, which should be here in the next four days. Thanks, guys! Thank you very much! Thank you! <laughs> so you've gone whaling ahead. I didn't even have the camera ready. Whaling ahead, have I? <laughs> yeah! Is that what I've just done? I've gone whaling ahead. Is that a word? Yeah. Whaling? I've never heard that. Right, okay, so you've taken one of your pictures. I just took a picture of yep. something in the bathroom, yeah. So I've got like a a blurry uh, object in the... Oh, interesting. Here. Oh, and you're telling me you everything that is going a on. a picture in the background, very clear and crisp. Okay. It's a bathroom shot. I'm getting really creative. You know when lockdown's getting to you when you're just climbing on the sofa to take a picture of a tap? No, but I'm not. I, this is getting creative. Is it called creative or is it called silly? Anyway, uh, you carry on, you carry yeah. on. You have to bear with me, I've got to get this perfect. We do have an outstanding caption it, Mazzy. We haven't given the results yet. Yes. We're not we're not gonna start a new one for now. We like to come up with new ideas, you know. We're not saying we're not doing agony rants or caption it's again. No. But we're just giving it a rest for now. But we do need to give results. Yes. So the last caption it, what was it? A picture it was a of? lamb on top of like its little feeding hut. Oh yes. Yeah. In the field there. Here is the picture. So here are the winners. So in third place was the hefty hiker. Oi, get down from there, you'll get us bad. I like that, that's really good. Okay. <laughs> Second place, Jim Roda. I see the price of lamb has risen. That's quite good. Yeah, quite like good. that. So in first place is, we both agreed on this one. Yeah, Mickey Rambo. Hey guys, the floor is lava. The floor is lava. You know, there's a kid's game where you're not allowed to stand on the floor because yeah. it's lava. Is there normally uh, pillows or something yeah, on the floor? Yeah, yeah. And then when when someone shouts, the floor is lava, you've got to quickly jump on something like yeah, whatever. Not allowed to stand on the floor. I thought yeah. that was quite clever. Yeah, that was really good. So, Mickey Rambo, you won that one. Well done. Yeah, well, well done. We'll caption it's for now, but they will be returning one day. Well, i got to say, I'm intrigued to see what you're taking a picture of. 
It's got a toilet roll up at your phone. Camera, sorry. Oh wow, let's have a look. No, it didn't, it's, it's blurry. Oh, is it? I need to work on it. Okay, try again. It's going to be called toilet roll. Yeah. I'm taking a picture through a toilet roll of a toilet and some toilet rolls. Very genius! Did have a bit of an accident yesterday, by the way, people. Uh, on top of here was like a little thing which goes in between here and the camera. But because I twisted it round too hard, it snapped. It wasn't made for that job, I just like bodged it. Um, but it's snapped now, so all I can do now is put this directly onto Mazzy's camera until we get something else. I don't know what to get really. Um, yeah. And the only problem with that is you can't get into the battery compartment, so you have to unscrew this every time you want to change the battery. But never mind. We are finding, to be honest, we're taking this off a lot and just using the camera without a tripod at the moment. So this is a game any of you guys can play. You don't have to have a professional camera or anything. Anyone with a phone which takes pictures, you and your partner if you're bored in lockdown, take... The kids! And the kids, and the kids, well said Mazzy. Um, just take ten, ten pictures of something in the house um, and put it to the vote, see who's his best. It's quite a good game, especially when it's in your van or in, your, in one room. You don't have to go anywhere. Quite enjoying this new photography hobby of ours, aren't we? Yeah, you're just liking not um, going outside, aren't you? No, I do enjoy photography. It's something I've always wanted to get into. In fact, I've got like filters and all sorts to go on my camera. Yeah. Um, I know I can take better pictures than yours. Than what? On this? On this. On this? Yeah. Oh, really? I know I could. Okay. Um, but this is all about learning your camera and we're going to be both use the same camera yeah. to make it fair. Yeah. I've not took one picture yet. I'll be back. <laughs> I thought he was put, putting the kettle on to make me a coffee. No. He's getting really inspirational I'm today. trying to, but it's not working, Mazzy. Is it not? That's going to boil dry. I need that perfect shot, Mazzy, before you can turn it off. <laughs> no, it's not really working. I'll be honest. It's not. I'm not happy with them shots, no. Never mind, never mind. You live and learn, don't you? I've got a shot. I'm just not happy with it. It's giving me an idea, though, so can I take a shot? Well, you're going to get steam coming out of my ears. <laughs> yeah. When I'm mad at you. Yeah, probably. You'd think we've made this video in about 10 minutes, wouldn't you? <laughs> Just taking like 10 pictures. She's been in the fridge for half an hour. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. She's trying to take a picture inside the fridge with the camera. Yeah. Half an hour. Half an hour. Yeah. I've got my next shot ready. Have with the you? boots. Yeah, with the boots. I know what I'm doing next. Just got to wait. Why have you got your shoes on the table? Oi! So are you taking pictures of a pile of sweets? Yeah, because I've got a good name I want to call it. Okay. So, but I'm struggling with it really bad, so I don't think it's going to turn out like how I wanted it to. <laughs> have you got any more ideas? I have, yeah. Bend down. No, not that way. What way? Turning towards the windscreen, but down. I've got the perfect idea what? and shot here. So I've got to go like this? Yeah, sort of, but you need to be further... Your head needs to be down here. Right. But it needs to be, like, up. But I can't, because when I lift my head up, I'm off... You that know. sort of works. Yeah? It'd be better if your feet are there. Oh, my God! But your head's got to turn that way. That's it. So, like, that's it. Now get yourself as far down as you possibly can get. Uh, no, it's not happening. <laughs> it's not. Oh, it is. It is. Can you come to the toilet? <laughs> 
I want to take my next shot. You need me in the toilet? Yeah. <laughs> you want to take a picture of me in the toilet? Yeah. <laughs> right, so what I need you to do is just put your foot in the toilet. <laughs> put my foot in the toilet? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Put your foot in the toilet. What kind of shot's this? Is this really art? This started out as a very serious photographic competition. I know. So you can get the best shot. It's turning into Laurel and Hardy, Mazzy. I know. And it was supposed to be about things on the van and we're just going wailing ahead now. We're doing all sorts, aren't we? Wailing? Yeah, where Is that have that I got that from? same word? Yeah, I, I don't know. know where it's come from. I know. Wailing ahead. <laughs> So guys, I know I said that I weren't going to vlog no more cooking and cleaning, but you know, the cleaning and cooking still needs doing. And I'm still hungry. <laughs> yeah, he's starving. So today he's opted for um, jack of potato. Now these are quick easy ones in the microwave, so dinner's going to be up in about five minutes. Fantastic. And I prepared a bowl of um, mayo and tuna and mayo. So yeah, you hungry? I'm How many very, do you want? I want two please. Two. Okay, so you want to pick your own? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I'm not into big, fat, round jacket potatoes. I like a bit of character. Okay, yeah. I prefer small ones. Lots of small ones, to be honest. But what I'm going to go for, I'm definitely going for that. I do like its its pointy edge. Because I like the jacket. I'm more of a jacket fan yeah. than a potato fan. A lot of people throw that bit away. That's the best that bit, isn't it? Is, it? Isn't it? it is. Yeah. So I'm definitely going for that one. And I think this one as well, because that's quite a nice overly flat shape. And I'll okay. leave the two big roundy ones. Right, so you pick your two. Yeah. Now, usually two. I would prefer to make homemade um, jacket potatoes, but we've got a microwave, why not? We've got a meal in five minutes, haven't we? Yeah. Honestly, I'm not that bothered today, because I'm quite hungry. And that's what's going to make it, let's be honest. Having said that, the best jacket potatoes are done in the oven and really crispy. Yeah. But today I'm really not bothered. I picked them. It's getting very boring waiting for these uh, jack potatoes, so let's have a little musical interlude. Oh yeah! Magic oh, want... moments <laughs> when two spuds are baking. Are they ready yet? I don't know any of my verses. So there's the tuna filling. I do like it very wet, and that does look nice and wet, Mazzy. Thank you very much. Uh, what is it? Uh, mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. As a kid, I only ever had salad cream. Salad I don't, cream. I don't think I've ever eaten mayonnaise in my life until I met you. Yeah, I Never. know. That's well. Salad weird. cream. I thought mayonnaise were like something you had if you were on a diet. Really? Yeah, no, you're it's like. Probably, no, it's probably more fattening than salad cream. Is it really? Yeah. So anyway, I'm going to have butter. I don't like butter, I don't like anything which comes out of cow, cow nipples, but as long as you can't see it and it's melted, it's nice. So I want you to put this in the, I want you to cut yeah. the jacket potato, put this in, close it, make it all disappear, and then put <sighs> some, there's some cheese, just cut that into little bits, maybe some strips. I can't believe you're having cheese and tuna, that's a bit weird. No, it's not. Doing? Free aftershave Mazzy. Huh? No, a little tip for you, these are rubbish. They don't work. Oh they do, they're really good. No, they smell for about 24 hours and they stop smelling. You know what you have in your car? <laughs> Air freshener things. But they still do smell if you smell them closely. So if you actually put it on yourself, that smells lovely. You'll be appreciating that in bed later on. Oh, you're gonna smell all sexy and handsome. I'll smell like little trees, black ice, Mazzy. Yeah, black I ice. That smell. So we finally tried cheese on toast last night in the, um, what's it called? <laughs> I got stuck. <laughs> so we finally tried cheese on toast, well you did. <laughs> what was your cheese on toast like last night? <laughs> so what was your cheese on toast like? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so I made you cheese on toast last night in the ridge. 
monkey. What was it like? Mmm. It was it was edible. <laughs> it was cheese on toast, but it's not how I'd make it. It was rubbish, let's be honest. It wasn't very good. We have already come to the con we were gonna do this. You make cheese on toast how you think it should be done in the gorilla pad pan. <laughs> And I do it how I think it should be done. So you tried it last night the way you think it should be done and it didn't work. Well, not how I think it should be done. It was the only way of really making it. It was nice, but simply because I was starving. And I was on the toilet all this morning, so maybe <gasps> you did do it wrong. That's nothing to do with the cheese on toast. So here's my two spuds. You've got to be very quick with that. Butter. I know, I know. Don't panic. Well, you have done it wrong because you've already cut it into squares. You should have just cut it in half and then put the butter in and closed it. Well, uh, uh, but now listen. the butter's going to come out of there and there and there and there. Oh, what are you doing now? Mashing it in. Mashing the butter in? Yeah, don't pa Listen! Do you not... F I know what I'm doing. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm glad you find something funny. I'm the one who has to eat. What, what's this? Guys for jack potato with tuna in it. What's going on? It's just a pile of mush. No, listen, it'll be alright. Be alright. How's it going now? I'm hungry, Mazzy. I'm hungry. I'm just going to try and melt the cheese. So, jack potato with tuna on it. Yeah. No, but I'm. Hold oh, on, please don't melt it. It looks like a pizza, Mazzy. It looks like a cross between a pizza. I can't stop laughing. And a <laughs> That's deep. Oh my god. Oh, it's a disaster. Look at it. <laughs> but there's a good job I can hide it with this, isn't it? Is that enough or do you want more? I want loads of everything, man. Do you? Yeah. Okay, I'll put the lot on then. So what did you call that again? Um Jacket potato with tuna. Yeah, what's yeah, that? Well, let's get a up. Come out, come over into the light, Mazzy, so everyone can actually see this. <laughs> Check that out, people. That is jacket potato with tuna. Beautiful. So I've got two cans of tuna on here. Two cans. Now everybody should eat tuna, it's good for you. You know, I don't think you even get it in meat, do you? But you do get it in tuna. Uh, PlayStation 3. It's really good stuff for you. Uh, honey, I, th I, th I think you mean Amiga 3. PlayStation... No, Amig Amiga 3. Computer 3. Well, is it PlayStation or Amiga? Or is it Xbox? I don't know. It's got number 3 in it anyway, and it's really good for you. It's oily, you see. It's oily, and I think what happens is it goes in your mouth, and it's good for your joints because the oil goes down your bones. And if you've got like a creaky elbow, the oil—it's like oil, you know, outside. It's like WD-40, but for inside. So get yourself some PlayStation 3, eat it, and it'll go down to your joints, down into your elbows and your knees and your hips, and it'll stop them squeaking, make <laughs> you feel good. What are you laughing at? So you're just so funny. We're going to leave this vlog there. We'll show you all the pictures. We'll put them up now and then we'll discuss it afterwards. I don't feel either of us took a decent picture in here today. I disagree. I thought I did some amazing... Not just here, down at the beach as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Here are the pictures.
So now you have to click the eye up in the top corner of the screen if you're on a computer and uh, vote yeah. and we will see who was the best photographer <laughs> of today, 2020. <sighs> It's going to be me. It's definitely going to be me. <laughs> it probably will. It will be me, won't it? It will be me. I'm well, going to if win. it's me, then can we just accept I'm a better photographer than you? <laughs> can we just accept <laughs> it? Yeah? Say yeah. Pinky promise. Pinky promise. Get your votes. Get your votes <laughs> in. Right. We're going to leave it at that. Thank yeah. you for joining us again. Didn't really go to plan today, but never mind. And it ain't as long as usual, is it? No. So, but... I, I think it's still an entertaining vlog. Yeah. You know, we have to keep coming up with new ideas. <laughs> so thanks for joining us. We'll see you all tomorrow on Travel Trolls TV. Have a good evening. Yeah, I love you all. Bye -bye. Thanks for watching. Please comment and hit the like button. That helps our channel grow. If you like what you see, click here to subscribe. Check out this other great video. And if you really want to show your support, join the club, become a Patreon for extra videos and perks. The more support we get, the more content we can give. We'll see you tomorrow on Travel, Travel Trolls, Trolls TV. TV.